What's today, hey, Daddy? Today's my birthday. Why don't you hold it up? I'm turning 34 years old. This is my birthday cake. Man, it's so heavy. Oh, yes. And Kristen so made this gigantic chocolate cake for me for my birthday what because the kids cake? refer to it as the Trunchbull cake. Because a couple weeks ago, we just finished reading the book Matilda by Raul Dahl, um, hey, the same man who wrote uh, the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and, and James and Jack Peach. Well, after we read Matilda, we told them we'd, we'd watch the movie, and their favorite part in the book um, was the part where she makes the young man who stole a slice of cake eat an entire gigantic chocolate cake in front of the whole school in the auditorium. And so we've been watching the movie with the children, and we just got to the scene with the giant cake. So I guess now we're pausing for the Trunchbull cake. The Trunchbull cake. Let's sing to Daddy, guys. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Yay, you did it. Let's dig in before that thing collapses. There we it, go. It feels like this, this is like 18, 20 pounds. <laughs> it's going to break the glass. What is it, Catch? Catchy. Birthday cake. Birthday cake? Yeah. Did our blood and sweat go into it? <laughs> what are you doing? Back up. 14 pounds. Oh my God. Hey, hey. Half, half of that's the glass dish. <laughs> ah, that's a monster. All right, you Daddy. Some of Daddy's birthday cake? Cut. Oh, I'm so sorry. We're not going to be able to have any. I'm just kidding. Daddy, slice into it. Campton. Oh, into it. Yes. Yeah. Campton, get a plate out. Mommy, I think we have a... Until you possess the whole cake. This is a monster. Oh, guys, video. move back so I can back film. Whoa, For some reason, I feel like it does kind of have the shape of a hamburger. It's the trunch bowl cake. Move Jason, put that down. That'll okay, never fit go. on it. Okay, that's one knife width. Knife width. Two knife widths. Three night wins. Goodness gracious. You can't cut a slice out of this. That's not gonna, that's <laughs> It's got to look like the one from the movie. Yeah. All right, yeah, I'm going to need a plate. I might need a cookie tray to put this on. Because there's so much. Okay. Now, hey, come on now, fingers. There's too many fingers. You guys are like anteaters dressed like children. All right. Take it, guys. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. I right, in. Oh my, it's been in the knife. Hey! It's been in the knife. How's that? Look at that cut. Is it better? Would you look at this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look inside the cake. Can you see in there? Yep. All right, here we go, here we go. The plop, ready? Oh, oh, just like the movie. It is so heavy. Hey, if I film the screen of the TV, will we get copyrighted or no? Nah. Let's okay. Let's film it. Or I'll, I could probably just film this part right here. So there it is, Miss Trunchbull, the cook, and the Trunchbull cake. Oh. Mm. Mm. Is it good? Man, my, now I know how that little chubby kid felt. My blood and sweat went into it. Mm. That's that flavor is. <laughs> got a lot of iron in it. Are we going to have to have the snake for lunch? All right, no, so no. Big Daddy yeah, took a I few bites of cake, I but he's kind of been cake. eating healthy the past week, week and a half. So uh, he wasn't. I'm not, I'm, I will not clean up puke.
<laughs> he was not able to finish it. <laughs> How about you, Cam? I don't know. Look at I that. think Cameron's Look at the on his size lap. Of that. It's disgusting. Catchy, what you got, buddy? It's yummy? Okay, I can't Who's party. whose birthday is it? Daddy's You're done too? I can't finish my cake. You have to Catchy, how old are you? Okay. Ten. Ten? Okay. I I was sitting here eating and I got full and I said, Oh, I gotta undo no, my pants. No, no. And I reached down to undo my pants a little bit and they were already undone. <laughs> well, you just told them, so I don't need to tell them. Hey, who's gonna spill milk? Mommy, can I save this for the next day? For the next day? Sure. I'll cover it, buddy. You couldn't do it? Yeah. Wow. We should have cut slices and then cut slices. Now, look, you need to give people a size thing. Here. This will help you with the size oh, orientation. Had Don't get There's chocolate an apple. on the apple. There's an apple. There's the monstrosity cake. Here's my head. Yeah, there's Bubby's <laughs> head. There, no, that didn't look right. Your head looked huge. Here. Wow. That is a huge cake. Here. Like no, that's good. Here, here's another comparison. Here's an egg. Stop getting, I, I'm not wiping all that off. That's a huge cake. Huge cake. All right. Enjoy. So this is Panther Bay, I don't know, Panther Bay Park or camping grounds where we used to take some showers. And it's uh, flooded from all the rain. There's usually a couple parking spots down here. So we're the only ones here. And I decided to surprise the kids pulling over and letting them swim. So they're swimming right now where there's usually parking. How's it feel, guys? Always fun until it's time to dry and change everyone. Peeling off wet clothes is pretty tough, but it's worth it. Ah, it's deep enough for you to swim. How's it feel, Catch? Okay, I'm watching. Woo! Cheese. Cheese. The whole place to ourself. Just the way I like it. Makes it easy to count your kids. So going fast as lightning. Fast as lightning? The kids are waiting for some waves to come. There's the waves. Where's Kaysen? Way down there. Don't the waves make a nice sound catch? You like that noise it makes? It looks like today has just gone from a normal town trip day to a field trip history lesson. Yeah, history and geography. Sweet! And I thought we were skipping out on some school today. Hey, everybody wave to mommy over the side of the bridge. Oh wait, I'm cutting Bubby's tall head off. Let's go over here and see what this building is. This is an old abandoned church. 
it says school, but I bet you it was both church and school. Laura, Mary, and Miss Beetle, are they in there? Little House on the Prairie, is this their school? Why? Do you guys do you guys want to go to school in there? Why? Oh. Well, I guess it's gonna be science today too. Uh I think we just found a little beaver dam. The water's obviously not flowing. Goodness, Kevin, you're just going potty. <laughs> that is too funny. All right, so we at we are at church for our big August conference, and there's also like some youth activities going on. So someone, a family of the church, brought their horses up here for penny rides. So it's going to be my kid's first time on a horsey. That's Kevin. His horse just stopped to go to the bathroom. Here's Kara, Maddie. Care Bear! Care Maddie! What are you doing on that big horse? Wow, wee! That horse wants to eat. <laughs> now you're gonna be Princess Ballerina Horse Rider. Here comes Campton on one. Hi, bud! You're on one! Look at you! <laughs> so serious! Awesome, buddy, you're doing great. Here's Case and Wyatt. All right, stop acting silly. Hi, sweetheart, look at you on that horse. <laughs> you're crazily scared. No running? Yeah, how about a run? <laughs> Twelve and under. Hi, Care Bear. What are you doing with your girl? Are you gonna have a tea party? Yes. So with one hand, pinch those, and with this hand, hold it right here. There you go. That's good. Okay. Okay, so Matt is in charge of the youth games at church. And he has invented, I don't know if he invented this or where he came up with it, but it's a three-way tug of war. I don't understand how it works.
Cameron still in, and he's got a little, I think that's little Samuel Pickering. Oh, now he's out. <laughs> hey, now he's out. All right, it is after midnight of the third night of church conference. Trying to get Cameron to the van, but he is playing. The Duggars showed up and taught our kids something called speed volleyball or something. So now they're all obsessed with the speed volleyball and don't want to leave. Oh, my 